This is the weapon bar that was on Tombstone when I won the Giant Nut. This is the championship one right here. And obviously, a very well-used uh, weapon bar and one that we really had a lot of success with. But, you know, you always have to make new things, and so it's time to make something completely new. So... A few years ago at the first open source event, my buddy Zach set, set up something that was kind of unique. So he was talking with Angus from the Maker's Muse channel, and since he was coming out to be part of the event, uh, Zach set up this opportunity for us to have a match against Angus. Now Angus is, he makes a lot of the smaller 150 gram robots, and he made this wonderful little version of Death Roll from BattleBots. He made it as a 150 gram version. I'll put a link below to, to his, his videos on that. And it was a really well done project. It turned out really cool. It was wor certainly worked really well and it was just kind of a cool little thing. And so Zach set up a match so I could drive one of Zach's robots against Angus and uh, we, could, we could play around and use these, these tiny robots for, for a match. And uh, so here's a here's like a clip from from that particular fight. So these two bots ready to get loaded in. We have division versus not dead yet. So, luckily, obviously, came out victorious in that particular match. It was great. And Angus was a really cool guy. We had, we had a lot of fun. And, of course, he's trying to convince me to build some of the smaller robots, maybe make a small tombstone. And, you know, I'm lost when it comes to the tiny little robots. They're just so little. I don't, you know, I don't have any of the parts for it. I've never had any experience with it. But I could see how it would be fun. Well, fast forward a year later to last year's Open Sauce, and uh, we didn't we didn't set up any matches or anything at that point in time. But but Angus was again out for the Open Sauce event, and so we had a, we had a conversation then about okay, I I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna dive in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a tiny 150 gram version of Tombstone, and it's just a different engineering challenge all the way around. Uh, weight adds up so fast. Um, so it's, 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 I'm going to have to learn some new skills. I'm going to have to expand what it is I normally do to make a robot this small. And it's, uh, this, is, this is that process. I'm going to go ahead and throw together a tiny tombstone. And, uh, you know, here we are with the parts. Okay, let's start weighing up all of the parts. Uh, big thanks to Zach for giving me a lot of this stuff and for Turnabots sending me some of these parts. So, uh, start out, here is the uh, uh, carbon fiber plates, top and bottom. So that's going to be the basics of the frame. Um, this is the weapon motor, uh, Rimfire 300, which is like kind of huge for this small of a robot, but... It's a tombstone copy, so it's got to have a lot of power. Um, this is the weapon itself right here. It's uh, made out of 100 thousandths titanium. Um, so I think that should, uh, should work pretty good. We've got a three cell battery, 180 milliamp hours. So pretty good sized battery, but again, it's a big motor, so we're going to need a big battery. Uh, the drive motors are the small Turnabots motors. Okay, put those guys right there, up to 110 grams. Uh, so this is the Malinky board. This is the speed controller for the drive, but it also will turn on the uh, weapon itself. And this is the speed controller for the weapon motor. So we're getting there. The little turnabout motors need a little mount to hold them down into place so that holds them to the frame. 
this this piece here is a little mount that's going to hold the weapon to the weapon motor. So these guys here are some standoffs to kind of separate the two, the, the top and bottom frame rails. Um, I'm going to need at least four. I might need one more than that. We got a little uh, wiring pen for the uh, for the battery, and then uh, these little tires. This is kind of cool if you watch the weight. It like throw them on there. It doesn't even doesn't even hardly weigh anything. So as it sits right now, this is basically all of the parts minus a bolt or two here and there. I'll need the little bolts that hold the uh, weapon motor to the frame. I'll need the little bolts that hold the little mounts down for the drive. So other than that, that's all of the parts. I am going to probably have to 3D print some sort of holder to hang on to the hang on to the Malinky board, hang on to the, uh, um, the speed controller for the, the weapon. So I've got a couple of things there I'm going to have to to still make before I can bolt this all together. So I'll 3D print those things. But I think, you know, we're kind of bouncing between 138 and 140 grams. So I've still got a good solid 10 grams to play with. And I, I, I think we should be pretty much right where we need to be when this is done. I think this will be exactly at 150 grams. And I shouldn't have to do anything too crazy to get this to bolt all together. So <laughs> I guess we'll see when I start bolting it all together. So this is one of the drive motors that I'm using on Tombstone right now, <laughs> and uh, that is the drive motor I'll be using for Tiny Tombstone. <laughs> tiny robots are just tiny. So when I first started to assemble this, and I was going to mount those motors down to the bottom plate, um, I really needed the output shaft to be basically in the middle of the robot so that the robot can drive upside down. And it wasn't going to work. So what I ended up having to do was 3D print this little spacer in here to hold the motor up high enough so that the output shaft is kind of in the center. So that way when the wheel is on, it can drive inverted. So here we are mostly assembled. Um, the uh, frame plates top and bottom are carbon fiber. The weapon motor is mounted directly to that one. There really isn't any support for the bottom, so I made this little kind of just a, a bushing out of plastic so the weapon has some measure of support on the bottom when it hits something. Uh, the speed controller and radio is the little Malinky board right there in the center. Underneath here, there's a, a speed controller for the, the weapon. The drive motor's mounted in, the battery. I've got enough room in here to kind of stuff all the wires in place so everything fits. And you can see it, it does, it does clear everything, okay. Um, so at this point in time, I guess maybe we'll just go ahead and assemble it and throw it on the scale and see what we got. So here we are in essentially combat ready state. Let's see what we got. 148 grams. Boy, I got two grams to spare. How much, how much armor I can add on? All right. Well, it drives. I guess the question now is, does it spin? <laughs> Silly little thing. Okay, so I am kind of curious how much power that weapon actually draws. I had to make a little adapter because I don't have anything to charge these tiny little batteries. Let's 
see what we got here. Yeah, just that little bit of spinning. Yeah, maybe half discharged them. Wow. Yeah, just over a third. So this project's been a lot of fun, but there was a specific reason for it, as stated. I I'm, I'm built this specifically so that we could have this rematch between me and Angus at Open Sauce. Um, unfortunately, this year, he's not going to be able to make it out. It's, 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 a, it's a little easier for me to drive a couple hours to Open Sauce than it is for him to fly halfway around the world. So he's not going to be there this year. So uh, this, this then is officially the gauntlets tossed down. I have made the tiny tombstone. Bring your tiny death roll, and next year we'll, we'll have our rematch and see how that goes. Today is July 14th, and the Open Source event will be July 18th through the 20th at the San Mateo County Event Center. If you're going to be in the area, if you're interested in any of this stuff, come by and check it out. It's, it's a, just a really cool event with a lot of cool things to see. There'll be a BattleBots area set up. We'll have Tombstone. Obviously, I'll take my little tiny Tombstone for a display. Um, and so we'll, we'll be there, and it should be a lot of fun. So if you're in the area, please stop by and say hi.